Hello, my name is Keith Smith and welcome to this video on Cutter Compensation. When programming a contour in Mastercam, you will need to decide on what type of compensation you'll use to offset your tool from the periphery. Otherwise, your tool would travel down the center of the periphery line. So let's take a look at this simple contour toolpath. In this operation, we'll cut the contour of this rectangle using a half-inch end mill. So the tool will be this half-inch end mill. And uh, on the cut parameter page, uh, we're faced with this decision about compensation type. First of all, let me just uh, mention a, a couple of their options here. One is the tooltip compensation. And you have the option of either being center or tip. And uh, I'm not going to address this right now in this video, but this would be used for ball end mills and um, not something we really need to be concerned with right now. Usually this uh, option will be left to tip. The other option we'll talk about is this uh, compensation direction. So if we were um, compensating this tool to the left, our tool would remain on the left of the uh, contour line. So left, right, um, the way that's decided as as if you were looking, uh, standing behind the tool as it was traveling and you would look and see if it was on the left side of the uh, periphery line or on the right. Normally uh, we like to be uh, climb cutting and so to climb cut your tool would remain on the left hand side of the periphery line. All right, so that takes us to the compensation type. So we have, uh, really we have uh, five different options here. Um, one is computer, the other is control, wear, reverse wear, or just off. So let me just address off quickly here. Uh, off is, uh, we're not gonna compensate for the tool. So as you can see in this um, uh, icon, the uh, tool travel right down the center of the periphery uh, line and um, this isn't normally used although you know the only thing I can think of offhand is that uh, you would use this to engrave you wouldn't want your engraving tool to be compensated it would want to, you'd want it to travel right down the center of the lines being engraved okay so um, let's look at computer and its impact on this so if we select the uh, computer compensation type, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow the, our computer, our desk computer, to compensate for the tool mathematically. So let's uh, go ahead and select that option and say okay. And um, we'll regenerate this tool path. And uh, so we'll, we have a tool path here that's that's obviously compensated and um, let's take a look at the code that's been processed um, as you can see uh, when the half inch end mill was uh, approaching the top of the periphery which was y0 it uh, went to y2.25 point, uh, which would be you know a quarter of an inch off the radius of the tool which is so we can see here it's mathematically compensating for that tool. Uh, the problem here is that it's not using cutter compensation commands, G-code commands, G42 or G41. Therefore, th although this program is going to work, if you have a half inch end mill and all the conditions are ideal, if there was any need to adjust the uh, size uh, due to wear of the tool or um, other uh, reasons there would be no way to do it uh, you'd have to regenerate a new program so this type of compensation isn't used a lot it, the only time uh, we may use this is if we were doing some roughing cuts and we weren't concerned about adjusting the um, adjusting for tool wear okay so let's go back to the parameters then and uh, take a look at it this next uh, type of compensation so that would be control so what we're doing here then is we are um, 
going to write a program in, in which we're going to allow the controller on the machine adjust for the compensation. So let's uh, accept this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and regenerate the toolpath uh, for this operation. So I'll select the regeneration icon and uh, we get a toolpath and let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, code that's being uh, generated by Mastercam. We'll call this program control so we can keep it straight. And so we'll notice that, um, you know, although the program is on uh, line 170 here is being uh, the tool is being commanded to move to Y0, uh, which is the uh, top line of that rectangle. Um, we're using, you know, cutter comp this time, so we're using G41, and so the program is relying on the uh, operator at the machine to enter the correct value, whether or not that's in radius or diameter, into the cutter compensation for uh, offset for that tool and uh, then everything should come out. So that would be uh, using control. So let's go ahead and regenerate this program using where. So under compensation type instead of using control I'm going to use where. Still my compensation direction will be on the left and I'm still using tip. I'll accept this and regenerate that program. Let's uh, take a look at this program, and uh, we'll call this program where, and one of the things that we'll notice is that the, that, uh, the post processor here is compensating for the radius of our tool. Uh, it's going to look very much like the uh, program that was generated when we used computer. In other words, uh, you'll notice on, one, on line 170 that uh, instead of going to Y0, the top, it's going to Y.250. Uh, so, um, and, and all the way around the part, it's, it's compensating for the radius of the tool. Um, the difference between this and computer is that we are using cutter compensation. In other words, we are using the G41 command. So we are using cutter compensation and the difference will be is that the operator is going to enter a zero value for the cutter compensation in the control rather than the radius or the diameter to the tool. This, it's called centerline programming or uh, zero diameter programming. And we'll talk a little bit more about how that affects the operator later, but um, that is what uh, where it looks like. And then our last couple of options I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, but uh, there is a option of reverse where. Uh, there's a reason to use it. It's not common. I'm not going to talk about it. And then off, of course, is just not using cutter compensation at all, which we mentioned at the very beginning. All right, so let's go ahead and review the compensation types that we discussed in this video. First, we uh, looked at off, and uh, the program, uh, when the cutter compensation is off, the program is following the contour of the part without using any compensation. The second uh, compensation we looked at was computer. So this is where the program is offset by the radius of the tool without using cutter compensation. The tool path is mathematically compensated by the post processor. Still, compensation commands are not being used. Third was control. This is when the program is following the contour of the part and is using cutter compensation. So it looked very much like the program with the compensation off, except for the program will be using cutter compensation commands such as G41 or G42. The operator will need to enter the value of either the tool radius or the tool di diameter into the machine's controller, depending on how the machine controller is set up. And then lastly, we looked at where, where the program is compensated for mathematically and the cutter compensation commands are used. It would look very much like the program generated when using the computer option, except for, again, 
G41 or G42 cutter compensation commands will be used in the program. Okay, so hopefully this video helped your understanding of cutter compensation options. Uh, thanks for watching.